first product I'm going to be talking about Nicola Roberts Dainty Doll Foundation and I don't know how well it picks up on camera but in real life I'm actually incredibly fair skinned very very pale and I'm of Irish descent um, so my skin is very creamy white Irish and I know a lot of people um, who, come, who, who follow my blog and ask me questions all want to like find foundations that suit their skin tone because it can be a real struggle um, whether it's high end foundations, drugstore foundations um, to find the perfect match for your skin tone and this is why I love Nicola Roberts Day Doll Foundation and this is in the shade 001 it's the lightest shade that you can get um, I love this because I can mix this with my foundation and it doesn't matter whether it's a foundation, a tinted moisturiser, very full coverage or very light coverage it just lightens it up beautifully and it doesn't interrupt with the the consistency of the product so it doesn't make it too watery or too thin it's also not oil based so it goes well with water based products and I just think it's a beautiful foundation and I actually have it on today mixed with my MAC Studio Sculpt foundation without it I wouldn't be able to wear the majority of foundations because they're just far too dark for me even the lightest shades you know they'll call them like porcelain, ivory, fair when actually they're quite deep orange undertones and if you have incredibly fair skin like me it can be so difficult to find matches of foundations so this is why I love Dainty Doll and I literally just need one pump of this in with my, uh, on the back of my hand, in with whatever product I'm using as my base and it just works beautifully so I highly recommend this. It's a little bit difficult to get hold of but if you can find it it's a beautiful product and I recommend it for everybody with a fair skin tone. The next product is also quite suitable for fair skin but I would say it's one of those products that its colour is so versatile that it could be used for pretty much any skin tone because it's so beautiful and this is the Bourjois Cream Blusher in the shade 01 Nude Velvet and it's such a beautiful terracotta shade and it's actually really non-offensive um, so you can put it on and if you really you know you just want a real natural flush to the skin you're not wearing any base underneath you just want a little bit maybe a little bit of mascara a little bit of blusher but nothing heavy um, this is perfect but what I really like about this product have I got it the right way around? Yes. What I really like about this product is the fact that because it's a cream blusher, it goes on so much more naturally. And also, I find that sometimes when I apply a powder blush, sometimes it can sit very heavy on the skin. And if you accidentally apply too much or it's kind of a bit more on one side up here and it's not quite even and you try and blend it out, particularly over a foundation, um, and I have, if I can find my brush, and I have right here my blush that I used to apply powder brush with which is my Dior um, blush brush even with a high end brush it can be really difficult to blend it out but with this because it's a cream blush the texture is just so fluid that you can apply you can stipple it on with your fingers blend it out with a brush and it really does move nicely it doesn't like you know some products you put on the skin and then that's it you can't move them this is just so wonderful because it's so movable and again it is really good quality like for, for a um, drugstore product and actually I think a lot of people have said that um, this particular cream blusher is made in the same factory and by the same company as the Chanel cream blushes. I don't know how true this is but a lot of people say this is a very close dupe and I have to say the quality is absolutely brilliant. If you didn't have any packaging on it you wouldn't know that it's a low it's a lower end blush. It's absolutely beautiful and again the colour is very versatile and it's affordable so for me that is um, worthy of a definite thumbs up so it's a great product next I have a product that I purchased the other day actually and this is the Body Shop Honey Bronzer in the shade 02 I don't know if you can see this but it has the um, a honeycomb effect printed into the product it also has a really cool hologram effect printed into the lid so when you shine it under the light you get like this honeycomb effect and I just think it's so clever and, and so also easy. I have to say this is my first ever bronzer purchase because again having really fair skin the majority of bronzers that I find um, are very hot the majority of bronzers I find are very orange, brown, very heavy, strong undertones which a very pale skin tone like myself simply can't carry off. It doesn't matter how well you try and blend it out, it just looks wrong. And actually I was surprised in the shot that I was a shade 2 because I thought I might be a shade 1 or whatever. But um, the lady actually said it's not about your skin tone with these bronzers, it's actually about the undertones to your skin. And I've got quite cool fair undertones and so this just sits well beautifully. And I've used it a few times and I have to say that it, it does add a lot of um, definition to the face. It's not something that you apply and it's, 
super heavy and like you think oh great I've got an orange stripe down my face it's £12 so it's not super cheap but it's definitely not the most expensive bronzer out there and so far so good and my last little feature of this haul that I have to, sh to share with you it's kind of two products so it's kind of cheap I guess but it's my Makeup Academy lipstick and this is in the shade 16 Nectar and it is such a beautiful colour it really is the reason I want to feature Makeup Academy lipsticks in this haul is because I just feel like they're so brilliant because they only cost a pound. I mean, it's kind of unheard of to get such a great lipstick and also for a pound. Um, and the thing that I really like about the price point is the fact that if you're someone who maybe doesn't wear a lot of different shade lipsticks, maybe you're someone who only wears pink all the time or red all the time, you want to try a new shade of lipstick or maybe you've got a special event coming up and you need a certain cool lipstick to match your outfit or whatever. You don't really want to break the bank spending a lot of money. I just think Makeup Academy are brilliant because they're only a pound. You could literally get the whole 16 shades for under £20 and when you compare that with a higher end lipstick, like for example Tom Ford lipsticks, they're £45 each. There's nothing wrong with that. If you're a student or you're kind of saving up at the moment and you want to get some more makeup and you want to build up your collection but you don't want to spend an absolute fortune, I just think Makeup Academy are brilliant for the range of makeup they have, the quality and the price point. What I like about the packaging also is they have this little detachable end and you can then apply the product direct to the lip with a lip brush. You can build so, up your makeup artistry skills. You can then apply it, the actual colour over the top to get like a full impact shade. And I just think it's really clever. Again, for a pound, you can't really go wrong. The other shade I have of this is in the shade four, and it's a really pretty soft pink. It's a little bit sheerer than the um, than shade sixteen, which is quite a matte colour, um, but it's really beautiful. Also, what I really love about shade sixteen is the fact that it's so beautiful against most skin tones but especially pale skin tones because it just glides on beautifully and it works well with the skin tone it adds a bit of life and colour without being too much and I think actually a lot of skin actually think a lot of skin tones could get away with wearing this it's such a beautiful colour um, yeah and only for a pound so don't walk past this next time you're on a serial drug thinking oh it's a pound it won't be that great quality it's absolutely beautiful and gorgeous so that's everything I have for you today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you later. Bye!